Shalom Aleichem. This is Brother Kobe. Last night I was praying. I said, Lord, what is my mission? What is my purpose? What is my ministry? And he answered my prayer at four o'clock something this morning. He's giving me a dream. And I'm going to share it with you because it may help you, okay? In this dream, me and my wife was looking to uh, buy a house or move to a neighboring town. So I went scout out the area. I went look at the land, look at the house prices, the um, the market, you know, the, the tax rate, uh, the, the laws of the land. I wanted to know before I made a, a move like that. And while I was there, I ran into a, uh, a young youth, uh, youth pastor, and he was Baptist, by the way, and we kicked it off. And I was telling him, I was like, man, I'm about to be ordained myself, you know. And he apparently knew everybody and their mama, and he had connections in the whole town. The whole town was trying to figure me out. Uh, I had joy, liberty, freedom, and the town couldn't figure me out because I didn't fit in the, the box of Baptist. I didn't fit into the box of Pentecostalism or any other denomination, and they didn't understand that. But while I was there, the walls of religion was falling off. And that was the end of the dream. Guys, when we get close to God, we got to let things go. We'll learn God will show you that there's some things we were taught was wrong. There's teachings that have been taught to us that is nothing more than man's way of thinking and traditions and all the stuff they added to the mix. And we got to learn to let that go in order to be unity in the body. Uh, a few weekends ago, God wanted me to go to this men's retreat, and I didn't want to go. Straight up, I told God, you know I don't want to go. He's been showing me the corruption in the churches and the doctrines and the policies and all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to go. I don't want nothing to do with that. But he's given me three dreams for me to be there. I called up my buddy in Oklahoma or Texas. I don't remember. But I said, look, man, God wants me to go to this men's retreat. I don't want to go. Of course I'm going to go. And he was like, Kobe, I said, you're not maybe going just maybe to learn something. It, it could be to meet somebody. It could be to have a certain conversation with somebody. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I ended up going this thing. It turns out we was the last people to eat, last people in line to eat in the lunchroom. And it just so happens, right? Which there's no so happens on God's perfect divine timing. I ended up at a table with a bunch of men. Only one of the men I knew but most of them I didn't even know. And they were asking me, Kobe, what church you go to? And I just smiled at them and I said, I am the church. And they didn't know how to respond to that. And I was telling them what the Lord's been showing me, how all these different den denominations and the confusion in the body and how people are cherry picking the scriptures. That's why there's division in the body. It turns out these men that I was speaking to was the lead speakers of the whole men's retreat Baptist convention thing. And I didn't even know it. That's God for you. But I just want to say, look, the Lord is teaching people. The Lord is pulling people out of certain teachings and doctrines. And we got to learn to let stuff go. And it hurts sometimes, man. But I do love you. Go in peace. Shalom.